Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use your iPad as a wireless external monitor for your computer. So I'm only going to be demoing one that works with Windows, but I'm sure you can find another one that works for Mac as well, such as Air Display or iDisplay. So uh, to do this, basically you're just going to have to download the app, and uh, in order to get free paid applications, just click inside of the annotation where it says cracked apps. So once you've done that and once you know how to get free paid applications, you can search for it. It's Max I Vista. So it's Maxi Vista. Just search for it. I'll also have the name and the more info. So now in order to do this, you're gonna have to come to this website and you're just gonna have to scroll down and click download the Windows software. So once you've done that, all you have to do is just install it, reboot your computer, and then take this, double click on it, and it'll start up. Mine says it's already running because I already have the server initiated. And then once that's done, the only thing you have to do is touch the application on your iPad and wait for it to connect. Now it's normal for the screen to flash a few times before it does connect. And I get this prompt saying iPad detected, move your mouse in the direction of the iPad. So now I'm moving my mouse this way. And uh, as you can see, it shows a little green thing saying that uh, it wants to position it on the left side. And if that's not correct, I could click no try again, and then I could move it to the other side. But that's not right because mine's on the left side. So I did no try again, and I'm going back to the left side. And then you can either do yes, save the settings, or yes, use for now. So unfortunately, the only drawback is that it doesn't support Arrow, which is the cool theme that Windows 7 uses. And as you can see right here, it uh, uses Windows 7 Basic, so it doesn't look that cool. But I'm going to demonstrate it now. And the only way to adequately demonstrate it is to use my camera and then to just drag over. And as you can see, it's over here now. However, it does not have that great of a refresh rate, but it is still manageable. And you can drag your uh, AIM windows over there, another internet browser whatever you want but like I said there are a few drawbacks and as you use the application more you can find out those for yourself so uh, I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys get this app I think it's amazing and if this helped you in any way please subscribe this is ICU signing out